go. Realer than most podcasts. With Corey Thomas. With Corey oh. Thomas. Just here to motivate and give you the real. It's time to fight, y'all. And it's not the type of fight that you're thinking about, but it's time to fight. I'm talking about giving yourself a fighting chance. We must give ourselves a fighting chance. We must. And some of y'all are thinking, well, what does he mean about that? What I mean about that is doing doing things that others don't do. Come in early. Leave late. Read those books. Yeah, I'm going to read them. Yeah, I'm going to read them because it's not going to hurt me. It's not going to hurt me to read the books. It's not at all. It'll hurt me more not to read the books. And I like I rather read the books so that I can tell somebody, yeah, I read the books when I'm on stage or I'm standing on that podium and I'm talking about putting that work in. You know what I'm going to have in that in that speech or, or or somewhere in there? I read the books. I read the books. I deserve this because I read the books. I read the books. Learn. We must learn. We must learn. We learn it can be done. In so many different ways, you can learn in in, in so many different aspects of your life. You can you can read better. You can the conversation can be better. You can be a better friend. You can you can read people better. We must continue to learn. There, There should never be a shortage of learning if you're in your life. If you're trying to go to the next level, there should never be a shortage of learning. Learning is a continual. It's a continual experience. I'm going to continue to learn until the day I die. That's why I'm going to live very long, very long. Have a different outlook. I want you to be the one that looks at stuff different. That's who I want you to be. Look at stuff different. Don't look at stuff the way everybody else look at stuff. Look at stuff different. I want you to see possibility and opportunity when others see nothing. When other th- when others think it's over, you know it's not. You see possibility. You see opportunity. See it. See it. Sweat for it. Bleed for it. Sweat and bleed for it. Get the work done. Get the work done. Give up sleep for it. Give up sleep for it. Nothing comes to a sleeper but dreams. Give up sleep for it. Give up sleep. You want that thing? Okay. Well, you got to give up a little bit of sleep. Now I'm talking about giving up sleep. Now y'all don't want it no more. So you know what that means? That means you never wanted it. You never wanted it. Give up sleep for it. It must happen. Ask yourself, what make me different? Some of us don't stop and do that enough. Do you even know? What makes you different? What's that thing that makes you different? Then answer yourself, because we all have that thing that makes us different. We all have that thing. But if we never ask ourselves the question, we may never know. We must know what makes us different. We must know. If you want to, cry about it. Cry about that thing you want. Cry about it. Because sometimes it does help to get it out. But after you get done crying, you know what I want you to do? Get back at it. Get right back at it. Because crying ain't going to make that thing come to you. No, it's not. It's not going to make that thing come to you. It's not going to make it's not going to make this this possibility a reality. Crying ain't going to do it. You could dream about it. Dream about it. It feels good to dream. It feels great to dream. Dreams will keep you going. Dreams will keep you looking up. Dreams will keep you knowing that it's something different out there. Visualize the taste of it. I want you to taste this thing you want. Taste it in your mouth. Taste this thing you want. Taste it. Get a taste of it. It tastes good, don't it? The feel of it. Man, I want you to touch it. Touch this thing you want. Touch it. Yeah, it feel good, don't it? Yeah, it feel good. And then you know what I want you to do? Accomplish it. Then go accomplish that thing. Accomplish it. Now it's time to accomplish. First I dream, then I visualize, then I then I then I then I try to feel it. 
Now it's time for me to accomplish that thing. But I must outwork everybody else first. Before I accomplish this thing, everybody else must be outworked. By who? By you. Outwork everyone. Outwork everyone. And this isn't a one-time thing. This applies to everything. Outwork everyone. When somebody refers to you, I want them to say, he always trying to outdo somebody or she always trying to outdo somebody because you know what? We are. Yeah, I'm trying to outdo you. What's wrong with that? Get on my level. You try to outdo me. Try to outdo me. You know what you're going to realize? You can't. You can't outdo me. You can't outdo me. But you can try, though. You can try. We can have fun with this thing. You trying to outdo me. I'm trying to outdo you. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Nothing is promised or guaranteed. Nothing. No spot. No job. No way of life. Nothing is promised or guaranteed because everything that can be obtained can be taken away from you. It can be detained. Everything that you can acquire can be taken. It's that simple. It's that simple. And that's why right now I am actively looking into ways to learn skills that can never be taken. Something that you can you can learn a skill in your mind that can never be taken away from you. That can never be taken away. No one can ever take that. They can't go in your mind and remove it. Once it's in there, it's in there. Once you teach me how to read the market, it's on. That can never be taken away from me. And it's universal. I can go in any market and read it and come up, whether it's a, a bullish market or a bearish market. In either situation, best believe money being made money being made and that's just the power of that skill that's just that's just the power of that skill it's very powerful all we can ask for is a chance all we can ask for is a chance all we can ask for is a chance that's all we can ask for all we can do is ask for a chance all we can do is give ourselves a fighting chance because sometimes forget the chance it's it's hard to it's hard to get to the point where someone's willing to give you a chance that's why you must fight to give yourself a chance that's why you must fight to give yourself a chance and you when you get the chance now it's time to capitalize to the fullest it's time to capitalize to the fullest and know that you deserve it because you have done the work. Yeah, I'm going to capitalize on this chance. And I deserve the chance because I've done the work. So I already know it's a done deal. All the people after me, y'all go home. Because this situation here is dead. I'm on it. I'm on it. You deserve it. Because you are the best man or woman for the job. You're the best. I don't know if anyone has told you lately, but you are the best. You're the best. I believe that you're the best. Do you believe it? Because I believe that you're the best. You are the best. It's that time, y'all. It's that time. It's winning time. It's time to win. It's time to win. Be the best and win. We have to give ourselves a chance. We have to know the qualifications for the job or for the thing that we want. We have to know the qualifications because it's a process. It's definitely a process. And then once we meet those qualifications, because we may have to go out and get the qualifications, we may have to pass a certification, we may have to read a book, we may have to take a test to get the qualifications. But once we get the qualifications, before we we have to get the qualifications before we can even apply for the job or apply for that thing that we want. We can't apply without the qualifications. The qualifications come first. Like I said, it's a process. Stick to the process. Understand the process and what it takes. Then go get it. Then go get it. People who can break things up like this are overachievers, are successful, are happy. Break it up. You don't have to try to do everything at one time. 
bit by bit. I want you to, I once heard a guy telling a story about chipping a piece of stone. He said he was hitting the stone and hitting the stone and hitting the stone for a week or two. He was hitting the stone and hitting the stone and hitting the stone. And then he finally struck the, struck the stone one time and the stone chipped. And my question to you is, did all the licks lead up to the stone chipping? Or was it just that one lick? You let me know. <laughs> you let me know. We must chip away, y'all. We must chip away. We have to. We have to chip away. We have to chip away. If we do nothing else, we must give ourselves a fighting chance. We have to give ourselves a fighting chance. Recognize your gift. Recognize the gift that God has given you because he's given you one. Recognize your gift and then scale it. Grow your gift. Strengthen your gift. Once you recognize your gift, you can strengthen your gift. You can scale your gift and make it better. Your gift is your way out. Your gift is your way out. Your gift may not always come in the form that you want your gift to come in. It may not always come that way. My wife tell me all the time, well, babe, your gift may not be a million dollars. I say, babe, it might not be, but that damn sure ain't going to stop me from trying to get it. That ain't going to stop me from trying to get it because me pursuing that, I'm going to, I'm going to find my gift. I'm going to find my gift. I want to motivate, baby. I want to bring you value. I want to motivate, bring you value. I want to help you find your gift. Let's help each other find our gift. I want to clear the pathway for you. So you can so you can see this thing. It's never going it's never going to fully make sense. But if you can see it a little bit, it'll excite you. You can just see it a little bit. Life is like that. It's never going to fully make sense. All the pieces will never be in place. You just got to go with it. You just got to go with it and then believe that there's favor on your life. Believe that everything that you are, you, you're doing, you're not doing it for no reason. You must believe. Recognize your gift. Believe. Believe. Believe, man. See opportunity. See opportunity. Give yourself a fighting chance. Come in early. Leave late. Read. Learn. Have that different outlook. Have it. Sweat and bleed for it. Proudly too. Sweat and bleed sweat and bleed proudly. Because you know one day you will stand on top. You will stand on top. I have this crazy dream that I that I don't tell people about all the time. Just the people that's closest to me, they know about it. Like I have this dream, uh or it's more like a vision that I'm standing on top of the podium. And I tell I tell somebody about this every time I'm working out, I'm in the gym, I'm getting it in, I'm pumping iron, I'm running, I'm sculpting my body. And they ask me, well, what you doing it for? I'm doing it for success. That's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it so that when I'm standing up on that podium, it look right. I want you to look up at that podium and say, man, that, that just looked right. And you know what? That That's not a coincidence. I've worked for it. I have worked for it. I'm up on top of this podium and it looked right because I've worked for it. Let's get right, y'all. I want it to look right when you're standing up on top of the podium. Put that work in. Don't forget. Give yourself a fighting chance. This is Corey Thomas with Realer Than Most, y'all. Realer Than Most podcast with Corey Thomas. 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 With Corey Thomas.